remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Good afternoon everyone, this is Carl Uprose, I'm recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Saturday, July 4th, 2020, and uh, as you know, if you watched any of my videos, my introduction was probably this, my usual, because this is a very important message, as my thumbnail said. Uh, but first and foremost, before I get going, I wanted to say a big thank you to all the military personnel out there, whether you're active, whether you're a retired veteran, disabled veteran, and all other veterans that are living or deceased, and to my late brother Bill, uh, who fought uh, for our freedoms in Vietnam, who passed away in 1987. God bless his soul. Thank you all for your service. Anyway, um, some things I want to get into, a little bit about my channel, um, if, I'm going to touch on that a little bit regarding sports, but that's not really what this whole video about is about. It's about where we are at on this 4th of July holiday, and um, just how crucial it is, and the uh, things that are going on. Uh, with all the destruction of the monuments and the rioting. And let me just say, for, for the record, uh, yes, black lives matter, but more importantly, all lives matter from the moment of conception, regardless of skin color, regardless of religion, regardless of sexual or orientation, regardless of any of this. Every single life matters, including the lives of the police officers. What we, what we have is a problem, a serious problem. And our founding fathers warned us about this. We are at that situation, and hopefully we can take care of this at, at, at the ballot box in November, the, the uh, peaceful way, and, uh, and to, to prevent the overthrow of the American government by the left-wing lunatics. Uh, the news media is purposely promoting their left-wing garbage, brainwashing all of us, um, and it's starting with the education, even as far as, uh, uh, even even into a preschool now. Uh, it started, they started brainwashing in, in colleges way back when. I even had um, arguments in college with my left-wing, uh, left-wing nut journalism teachers and uh, history teachers and that sort of thing and I personally from grade school all the way through college in history I got straight A's every single time every single test every single quiz and I'm not saying this to brag or boast or anything about like that I'm saying this because of the importance of history okay a lot of even my ex-wife and a lot of people say um, well, in, before all this, you know, why do you, you know, history is not, not important. And I always said the same thing, but history is important. Uh, and uh, when I was in like fifth grade or something, uh, I was taking, well, going, me and a friend, we would go to the library. I would read 10 books a week on history, on, and specifically on presidents. Um, I knew the presidents um, at the time, A to Z. Front, or I could recite them front, uh, in order from A to Z and backwards from Z to A and uh, up to and even into college and um, uh, 
Uh, I have a whole long-winded story just on the college thing, so I don't want to talk about that. But the, the, the point I'm getting at is history is important. If you don't understand history, we're, we're doomed to repeat itself. Uh, and what's going on here is nothing more than brainwashing and lies and garbage and uh, and as far as the COVID-19 thing is concerned, uh, I believe that there is a virus, but uh, it's being blown out of proportion. It is not a hoax, because I was really sick in January. In fact, I, I think I may have even had it. This is before it even came into where we had to wear a mask or anything, but, but uh, briefly, um, for about a week or so. But um, I know what to do. I made a whole big batch of chicken soup. My, my neighbor could verify it. Um, but when I was, went to bed, there, I wasn't sure. Uh, there was about three or four nights in a row where I wasn't sure if I, because when I went to bed, uh, it was like like uh, some sort of compression on my chest. I didn't, uh, you know, I had a hard time time breathing. But that was only going to bed at night. So something was going on. And I wasn't sure when, when I went to bed. But um, uh, finally, the, the chicken soup and the orange juice, and I put myself up uh, full of all that, uh, the old, old school way. And in about, you know, I, I was suffering for maybe about a week or so, but I had about three, three or four days there where it was uh, real critical. Where I, where, uh, but I just, I just figured it was a really bad flu or something, but it was probably that. Uh, but... Um, and and um, I turned 62 in May. I got through it. It was, and and I will go. I will wear a mask. And I was, and, and why? Because I really don't want to get this, you know, whatever it is again. I don't want a repeat of what happened to me in January because that was not a lot of fun. But I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't have to have a ventilator. I didn't. This is all being uh, propagated and propaganda by the left wing, and they're, they're blowing it out of proportion. Yes, it is a virus. So the people who say that this uh, the virus thing is hoax, no, they're, they're dead wrong. Uh, there is a, a virus out there, and um, uh, and it's just it's not a lot of fun, uh, but it's not uh, deadly. But um, uh, um, uh, I would say, you know, wear, wear a mask, you know. Um, but um, uh, the, the point of the whole thing is, this is just a, a ploy to remove President Trump from office. Now, um, I voted for him. Um, I wish the Republicans would have found somebody better. But you know, all in all, he's done he's done one of the best jobs as president since Ronald Reagan. Seriously. Uh, and uh, he's not even a, a uh, lifelong politician. And one thing, I want to contrast President Reagan and President Trump. Uh, President Reagan, when he was an actor in the 30s, he was a, he was a hardcore uh, liberal Democrat when he was in Hollywood, when he was an actor. Then finally he got a brain cell and uh, he, he switched over and became a Republican, and he was governor of California. And I lived in California during that time. California was a wonderful state. When president, and a lot of people gave uh, uh, said Reagan was the worst thing. No, Reagan kept the state of California normal. It was after he got out of uh, uh, left California to take the Oval Office, then and California went the, the cesspool, and they're going. They're, California is going down the sewer. Uh, uh, and they're going straight into the pits of hell. And uh, if we don't take control of things at the ballot box in a peaceful way in November, then the, um, the whole trend, the whole country is going to uh, we're, we're gonna be in for a world of hurt. And that's the, the message from my, my video. Uh, is this, this is important. It can be done peacefully. It can be done reasonably. Uh, done at the ballot ballot boxes, um, uh, starting in the primaries. Now me, I, uh, personally, I, I registered as a libertarian, so in my state, I couldn't vote for the primary just because I registered uh, as a libertarian or independent. Uh, and uh, in this state, in Pennsylvania, you have to either be a, a registered Democrat or a registered Republican to vote for primaries, which I think is a bunch of garbage. We need to change that. Um, 
and um, uh, but um, uh, so that's where I'm uh, on that because I the reason I, I the reason I, I separate uh, flipped, uh, switched away from the uh, Republicans is because there's quite a few Republicans out there uh, who may as well be on the other side because they're just you know uh, sometimes I, I just wonder but that's really how we need to do it we need to go we need to do this peacefully but if if they install Joe Biden as president, which which I am very fearful they, they will, because um, especially if there's a lot of things are, are done through mail-in, uh, I'm going in there personally uh, to vote personally in November. I don't know, I'll be wearing a mask, you know, depending on the situation. But we'll probably still be in the situation, and that'll be you know, winter time and things coming up. So. Uh, I'll probably be wearing a mask anyway, even even if we don't have to, uh, just for personal reasons, because um, uh, because it'll be that time of the year. And I, like I said a few minutes ago, I don't want a repeat of last January. It was not fun, uh, but I knew what to do. Uh, and I think if if a lot of people, a lot more people use a little more common sense, a lot of this wouldn't be happening now. Some of you who um, I, I, I just I want to touch on sports a little bit and and, um, uh, and where we're going with it uh, after uh, you know what the NFL said well all the sports even with, with this pandemic because that's what I call it I call it a pandemic um, sports is going down the drain anyway so they lost my interest but uh, prior to, to all this stuff my, uh, my channel was uh, uh, focused on sports but. Uh, I'm done with sports. Um, I will no longer be doing uh, weekly sports during the NFL season. Forget it. It's done. It's over. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. The only way I'm going to be talking about any kind of sports um, is if something pops up in the news and it happens to be a sports person, good or bad, because sometimes some of these athletes, sometimes they come out with some pretty good things. So I'll, I'll, do, I'll do sports things. Uh, and I'll, 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 I'll talk about it. I mean, if it's really bad, I'll talk about it. If it's really good, if, it, if the player does something really good, I'll talk about that too. But I'm not going to be focusing on any specific team or anything like that uh, anymore. It's just that's not going to happen. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, we, I need to, we need to really focus on preserving the United States, all of us patriots. Uh, this is it's crucial, but uh, again, I just want to reiter reiterate that uh, it can be done uh, peacefully, but if we have to, but I'm in a situation where I've been personally threatened, I am actually building a wall inside my uh, apartment, a uh, brick wall against the front door, because my front door leads uh, into my the kitchen, uh, that's the entrance way, and um, I'll have only one entrance out of the uh, back. But uh, things are so weird. I'm just I am so worried, and uh, that you know, uh, if if push comes to shove and, and people try and start kicking down the door, they're going to have to go through a, a, a ton of bricks, literally a ton of bricks, because that's how, how many bricks I'm going to have there. Uh, and then they're going to have the surprise of their life once they get past that. And uh, they don't like what they're greeted with. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've been attacked here on YouTube. Um, I've been attacked on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. So uh, for all of those of you who um, watch this far, please whatever, do whatever you can to help support this channel. Uh, share, like, promote it. Um, Follow, subscribe, go to my other things, um, and um, uh, hit the bell notification to be notified because I'm going to be doing more of these, and um, uh, we need to, we, all of us patriots need to band together, and we need to make our voices known in the uh, most reasonable way possible, uh, and we can do it. We are bigger, we are stronger, we're the silent majority, uh, and together we will 
prevail and Abraham Lincoln said it best, uh, a nation divided cannot stand, uh, and that is true. So we, we cannot be divided like we are. We need to unite, we need to come together, pull this country get back together, and take our country back, take our cities back, take our towns back. And that's it. God bless America. God bless all of you. And have a safe and happy 4th of July and the rest of your day. And just, just be careful and be safe out there. And we'll talk to you next time.